and now we move on to something which I find really quite exciting. We've got Carsten Bock here from NG Voice, uh, all the way from Hamburg in Germany. And what Carsten's showing here is open source mobile infrastructure. So would you like to tell us a little bit about, bit about what you've got here, Carsten? Okay, uh, what we've got here is actually a true LTE network with real Volta, with real voice over LTE. Um, it's uh, totally great. We have uh, real Volta handsets. We can make real Volta calls. We can, we can actually, we have a true complete mobile network here. But it's all based on open source. It's all based on open source. And we can, we, we've got basically all the components in place so we can make uh, calls between all sorts of devices. We can call other networks. We can call different uh, devices. We can make WebRTC to mobile calls and mobile calls to, to other networks. We can make WebRTC to other networks. We can really mesh the network. We can really, um, the idea is basically that we can have any network, any device, any endpoint, and everybody should be able to call each other. Great, hugely flexible. But tell me, Carsten, why would a mobile network operator want to consider open source software? Uh, the, the great thing about open source software is that we are way more flexible. We are way more flexible in, in, in implementing stuff. We are way more flexible in adapting to the requirements. Um, just to bring uh, one example, um, for example, the, the specification of the 3GPP says that we should uh, announce um, the identity to the what's the packet core. So the packet core would have to do a lookup on the on the identity to get uh, the SIM card for this identity. And with open source, we were, for example, able to to change that because our our telephony infrastructure already knows the ID of the SIM card. So we could actually pass that directly to the packet core. So we were really flexible about that. Yeah, and it just simplifies the whole equation um, yeah. and makes it more efficient. So um, this is now deployed, isn't it, for real, with a with well more than one real mobile network? Yeah, we've got uh, one mobile operator like Smile Telecoms in South Africa, and the second uh, mobile operator who's going to deploy it is uh, Max Telecom from Bulgaria which is totally exciting because uh, real LTE, real packet core, real, the real thing. Yeah. So this is uh, deployed and live um, in, in real use, which is yeah. great. So let's talk about um, what we've actually got here uh, in terms of hardware. And uh, I think we're going to set up a, a real live Volte call yeah. here at Idea London. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, what we've got here is basically we've got our own uh, small femtocell, cell, like um, it's some sort of antennas for, uh, for, for LTE radio. So we can actually use uh, any LTE capable phone just to, to, to make the phone calls. Just a little pause there. Yeah. Okay, on the, on the one hand, I've got an um, LTE phone which doesn't support native Volta. So on that one, I have to use our OTT app just to make the call. But as you can see on the second phone, uh, that's true Volta. And uh, it's just the real thing on the handset. Okay, let, me ha let me have a go with that. So I can actually, oh, no, there we go. I can, yeah. I can talk to you. You can talk to so me. So that's uh, what, what, uh, what wideband Volta call. Uh, it's not exactly wideband because um, uh, for the wideband call, I would have to use um, two Volta handsets um, and actually doing a wideband transcoding because uh, the typical applications don't support. You know uh, what? You're, you're far too honest. I would have just said sorry. it's wideband. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Okay, and uh, what was the other thing we were going to do? You can actually even switch oh. to video. Oh, I, I, ca I can do video as well. Yeah. And now we can. Even oh, oh there we call. are. We have a. Pointed at your fa face, and, yeah. and there we are. We have uh, Carsten live on video yeah. uh, using uh, a data channel which is going over LTE. Exactly, exactly. We have we have a true Volta call on the one handset, and uh, an OTT app on the other. 
which is yeah. totally great. Okay, and um, for the benefit of the, these the people who are watching here, I can say that this stuff really is real. We um, we set up um, a configuration of uh, Carsten's um, software in our labs a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we've plugged in Trufo numbers, and now it's possible for for me to make a an an IMS call from my office to Carsten in his office in, in Hamburg. Yeah. Um, and it's easy. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it took not a lot of time to, uh, to do. No. And, uh, and it just works. Anyway, it's great to have you here, Carsten. Uh, and uh, it's all working. Yeah, um, absolutely great. It was totally amazing to be here to meet all the people I really enjoyed. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, what are we going to be doing at Kammer Elio World in Berlin? Okay, um, at Camellia World, we, 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 we even have a better LTE network. We've got a true uh, packet core running, um, and we've got, uh, we will have some more SIM cards. We will basically totally run our complete mobile network at Camellia World in Berlin next month. Yeah, and if possible, uh, we'll see whether we can get uh, the true phone network plugged into the back end of this yeah. so uh, you'll be able to take a true phone sim card uh, authenticate and exactly. run a real service yeah. but over an open source radio access network that's true that's true yeah so exciting stuff coming Absolutely. Th thank you very much Carsten brilliant <laughs> <laughs>